Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we'll be talking about the 2022 Silverado that we got. It's only four months old, 5,000 miles, and we're having issues with the stability control system. Um, so basically the truck, it's going into lump mode. Uh, this happened the, for the first time in December, uh, and now in January, it just happened to me three times on the drive back from my property. So uh, in this video, we're just gonna go through some of the videos that I took of the era. You guys can see the limp mode and then we'll talk about uh, what it means and what we're going to do next. And this is the, thir the third time today trying to limp home uh, because this error is coming on uh, service ESC. That's ridiculous, and basically it's in a reduce acceleration drive with care, a limp mode. Um, what I've done, which I did, uh, I didn't get that recorded, but I did it a couple miles ago, is I pulled over, uh, turned the car off, opened the door, shut the door, uh, turned on the alarm, just to trick the car into going to sleep fully, because once the car is in sleep, then I can, oh, the computer kind of resets for a little bit. Uh, and again, so this is the third time today, and then it happened on Christmas Eve. So that's definitely something going on, something going out. Uh, and then the issue with the dealerships, it's basically, well, we don't know what it is. Like I took it in for, I took it in for an oil change last maybe two, three weeks ago, took it in, maybe two weeks ago, took it in for an oil change, and on the appointment, I put, this is what's happening, you know, I need the oil change, and I need you to, to diagnose this, and basically the, when I got there for the oil change, the response was, well, we can't diagnose it today, but you can drop it off, this is on a Friday, you can drop it off, and maybe we can look at it by Tuesday or Wednesday, and then get back to you, and my question was, Hey, do you have a, a loaner vehicle? And their response was, we haven't had a loaner vehicle since the start of COVID. So yeah, so basically, you're in a brand new vehicle, three month old vehicle, four month old vehicle, 5,000 miles. You can't use your vehicle. We're not gonna give you a loaner vehicle. You know, sorry, have a good day. And oh yeah, by the way, um, we'll get to it when we can get to it. and then. And my question was, well, if you can't see it till Tuesday, can I just drop it off on Tuesday? And their response was, well, no, it has to be waiting in queue. So it's just like a, it's almost like a, like a joke. Uh, so yeah, it's not, it's, it, I had a hesitation with going with Chevy, uh, but with the, the new redesign 2022 and the new cool screen, you know, I kind of looked past some of the the other hesitations uh, and this is what I have going on right so I, I went against my gut feeling now I'm gonna have to deal with this right so it's you know new car underground car markets crashing can't really get out of it because the value of course anything's it's crashed 2023 car prices crashed so I'm stuck with it um, so I'm gonna have to keep, you know, pursuing this and dealing with this until, you know, potentially, I don't know if they could fix it or if this is gonna be a lemon. I'm gonna to have to keep taking it back and back and back um, and have it documented so we can, you know, figure out uh, the law. I need, to, I need to look into the state of Texas, you know, what the rules and regulations are to, to have something. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, this is uh, this is the reality. Welcome to being a brand new Chevy 1500 Silverado owner, right? I know a lot of people don't have this problem. You know, I'm sure it's a smaller amount that do have this problem, but if, if you get on the, uh, you know, the Chevy Silverado Facebook groups, if you get on the Reddit forums, if you get on Google and the other blogs, you're going to see a lot of people with this issue. So, uh, and that's just the ones that speak up. So for every one person that speaks up, I'm sure, you know, 20 to 30, 50 people don't speak up. They just kind of suck it up. So, yeah, uh, caution, right? This is the reality, right? So I'm, 
32 miles from home. Went out to the land on a beautiful day, trying to set, try to enjoy the land, and now I am limping home. Yep. Welcome to owning a Chevy. Yeah, guys, so you guys can definitely imagine uh, extremely frustrated with this. Uh, this shouldn't be happening with a vehicle that's four months old. Uh, brand new vehicle, uh, Chevy, you know, American made. Uh, unfortunately, we're dealing with this. Uh, I'm missing my Ram at the moment. Uh, and when we were, I was shopping for cars, my wife told me, why don't you get another Ram since you liked it? And I told her, uh, you know, I didn't want to get the same vehicle again. That would be boring. I wanted something new. And uh, this definitely is new. Uh, but I'm definitely curious if you guys have had this issue uh, before. Please comment below what you did, what the service did for you, what was the part that had to be replaced. I will be dropping this off tomorrow at the dealership. Um, I'll probably have to sit there for like a week or two, probably a week for them to diagnose what's going on. And then, you know, a week or so, or even more for the parts, right? So really unfortunate that, you know, a brand new vehicle, you know, month four, I've only made four car notes and I won't even have access to it because of this. But that's life. Um, on the positive note, you know, you know we're safe. Uh, you know, we're healthy. So we'll, we'll think about the positive stuff, but definitely, understandably frustrated. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this quick video. If you liked it, a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more videos like this, sub to the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.